Hello everyone, no respawns here, hope you're having a good start to the week and if you're in the UK hopefully you're not on fire from all of the horrifying heat that we're going through that Davy does not like. So basically we're back again in Sanctuary and actually doing some building. This is actually in the workshop um, on the PC, which means if I'm just getting used to the toggles, because I'm using a, an Xbox controller for this and it's a little bit more sensitive than my old PS4 controller, so I'm a little bit You'll probably notice I can't gauge the angles in the same way anymore, uh, so I need to practice. I'm, I'm going to test out with using a mouse and a keyboard at some point. It's just that I, I didn't, I couldn't be asked to learn. Ba basically, I just, I just couldn't be bothered, to be honest. Uh, so basically, this is two small builds. So what I wanted to do is, because I've kind of made this mod with the walls and also tidied up the interior of Sanctuary, I wanted to build it up for myself. Uh, but also I wanted to kind of give you just a couple of ideas of how you can use the space and that's effectively what this video is. It's quite a short one, two small little things. I do the generator and I do a nice little shack for Sheffield. I'm going to do a bit more later on but I just wanted to kind of do these two bits. I was going to give Mama Murphy a shack as well but normally that would be either here or near where Sheffield shack is because he would normally have had the bus in my last build. But it's fine because I'm actually going to maybe turn her room into kind of like a little you know, kind of seancey area type place, it'd be quite cool. Um, on the subject of Sanctuary and the Mods, um, everyone has really, really enjoyed the Junk Walls mod and the Cleaned Up Shout Sanctuary mod, so that's absolutely awesome. I am now going to, after this video, start working on fixing my Player Home mod, which is, good lord, an absolute mess. I'm surprised so many people like it, because it is just a clusterfuck. Uh, so expect an update on that at some point, and be warned it will be removing a lot of the decoration because this is an exterior cell which is why you're getting so much lag um, in that mod because it's just it's less loading up way too much and also this yellow house that we can see to our left is getting built in a separate mod as well so as I said I wanted my mods to be modular uh, um, but also like so effectively you don't have to use the entire package if you don't want to so after the sanctuary home mod I will be building something there um, I don't know what yet. It might take a while, because if it's a multi-story building, it will obviously have to be nav matched so your settlers can walk up. It'll probably be some kind of shop, spoiler, uh, maybe a trading post. Um, it won't be decorated in any way, as um, the idea being I don't want to, with the exception of my player home, um, and the reason why I made the separate mods, I don't want to force decoration upon you, because it takes ages, and also you might not like the way I decorate it. But yes, I love this generator. So basically, for the inspiration for this was, is I'm basically effectively replicating what I've done on my PS4 Sanctuary, except a little bit more subtler. I actually walked through, I think I seem to have this whenever I look at my older builds. Not all of them, but some of them. I tend to really dislike them. Even my, uh, if you see my Sanctuary, which has this style generator in it, it's basically, it's, it's, it's just a bit big. Like, even the building on the roofs, I don't want to do it anymore. I want to kind of keep it a little bit more low-key, a little bit more subtle. Uh, I don't actually decorate much around this one, so I do the generator and a little kind of walkway up to it. Uh, the reason being is because obviously I've got the build next door of that house we're going to do in a separate mod, and also the fact is that I'm probably going to decorate the workshop house at some point soon. I didn't want it to kind of overlap into those areas, but it's a nice little generator, this. I haven't actually wired up the power yet. I will at some point. It's going to be fun. I've got the... um. Uh, the I, I just decided screw it and purchased all of the Creation Club items that I had on PS4, and um, I really want to do the arcade machines because I love the arcade machines. So I've got to set them up somewhere. This won't be for like I'll probably even put a video or something like that. But you know I'm gonna yeah that'll be cool. I will be doing actually uh, probably a full tour of this. So I kind of like a uh, here's what the mods all look like and here's a kind of few decoration ideas thing because I do want to finish up my sanctuary. It'll be grand. So you can see, generator is really, really nice. Got a switch. It's quite an easy one to do this. Uh, the mod, by the way, so that one comes from what is it? That's just general USO. So it unlocks seven objects, and it has several generators. There are actually another one, which was uh, the damaged one, which looks quite cool. However, the problem is, is it doesn't actually have any f energy generating off it. Like it, I, it, it generates power, but it doesn't have, you know, the, the lightning effect, which I really, really like. So we went for this one instead. It's just a bit of a temperamental twat to actually, you know, sink into the ground. So it's very, very simple. I really like this ramp. It blends in quite well, which I'm quite chuffed by. We're going to add a few bits and pieces, aren't we, David? Aren't we? 
Now we're just going to dick around in the menu for 20, 30 minutes. I was getting used to using the controller, as you'll see. Just making a few there. A lot of the decoration is actually done on this part in OC Decorator, but then on the other side, most of it's done in the Workshop Decoration Pack and Toys Out of the Prams various mods, which, as I've mentioned before, are actually all on PC as well, so on all platforms. I've also started using Nexus as well, because I'm OC Decorators on that. Basically, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a PC noob when it comes to modding, so I'm kind of, even though I've made a couple of mods, <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to it. So uh, those who keep keeping asking, actually, I will be getting my mods on Nexus soon-ish. I just need to sit down and learn how to do it. But it's cool. I'm really enjoying just replaying Fallout 4 again as well, because as mentioned too, I'm starting, those of you who may miss the, miss the news, but basically I'm moving over to PC fully. Uh, but you may notice that I'm deliberately using all the techniques from the PS4 save. The reason being is, is even though on PC, all of these mods will be replicatable on, replicatable, there, that's a word, um, on PS4. It's just that my, PC, my PS4 was so, it's getting a bit, ta it's just noisy and I can't really record live on it. Whereas my PC is silent. It's running right now and you can't hear it. So this is Sheffield Shack. Now, I've started using prefab just because I really like this prefab and I wanted something small that fit in there, but I do decorate it quite well, as you will see. So it's going to look quite cool. I said these are kind of more simple builds. I wanted to do stuff that wasn't particularly too demanding, wasn't too over-designed, uh, but at the same time still had kind of, you know, their unique quirks. You may notice why I don't have my player home mod installed right now. One, because nothing works on it. Uh, <laughs> and two, is because uh, it's quite laggy, so trying to, like you know, activate my recording software and also um, do some building would probably end in tears. Incidentally, it was ending in tears yesterday. PC Fallout was being a bit buggy. So even though it's not as noisy as my PS4, it is still a bit twatty. I think that's just the mods though. I'm really pleased with the way the settlement's already looking as well. I'm not going to be building on the roofs at all. So in the past, I would build like kind of Roof structures, like on foundations, I'm just not doing it this time. I want to, I, I really want this one to be like much more subtle and kind of as RP as I can get it. So it just, there's going to be no building on top of the houses. I was looking for Melbourne and it was just such an overdone clusterfuck. <laughs> this is going to be a much smaller settlement, uh, which I quite like. Couple of asked actually, am I going to do other sanctuary mods like doing the rest of Sanctuary, no. Uh, the reason being is because my mods are kind of, they're effectively more, less, I'm just trying to give you mods of my builds to download, that's the kind of the premise here is what I'm doing. And rather than work, once Sanctuary is finished, I want to do other settlements, yeah. Eventually, I'm obviously I, I'm absolutely not going to have all of the settlements done by the time Fallout 76 drops and we start playing that. However, I want quite a few even if it's just like quite superficial mods that just tweak them a little bit. So for example, I'm definitely doing a home plate, which will be like a kind of home plate version of my Sanctuary Player home. And also what we're doing, I'm thinking Red Rocket. I'm just that the key settlements, the ones that, you know, stick out would be kind of what I'd like to do. Yes, that means I would like to do the castle, but I'm just trying to think of how I go about doing that one. With the castle, it probably would be undecorated again. For most of my settlement mods i'm gonna probably have them undecorated with the exception of home plate which will be a decorated mod because just because they're exterior cells it just opens up way too many buggy irritating issues and that way you know you've got the building done you guys just have to decorate which i think is you know that's usually what people ask me if they can scrap so i've got my booze still uh, this is where Sheffield lives, and he works on the booze still and then the vault tech guy is on the scavenging station they're a, they're a nice little crew Got to get them some different outfits. I've used Eleonora's clothing mod. The problem is it makes the vault Tech guy look a little bit too badass. I kind of feel as if he should look a little bit more... Less like a badass gangster, because he's not really... Though I gave Sheffield, as you'll see in the tour, I gave him the field medic outfit that she's made, and that suits him so perfectly. So good! Oh, I love Sheffield. I, I, I kept walking by him the other day. Yesterday, in fact, the other day, and um, I couldn't actually give him any new camera because I, I, I never had any because I always trunk it. <laughs> right, Tora coming in a sec, as it's two very small builds. I've done loads of decoration, which you'll see. I was going to do more decoration around the rest of Sanctuary because I've not really touched the buildings. I don't know what the theme is outside each. Um, also, I left a bit of the quick save menu, but that's fine. 
So it's not generator. I didn't actually add much decoration to spot a little bit in the front there. It's really nice, isn't it? People have mentioned that it's obviously not waterproof. Um, there just isn't a decent canopy to put over the top. But I just like the way it stands out. It also looks really, really cool at night. And that, you know, there's you could justifiably have scavenged it from the nearby vault. So you know what I mean? It, it's grand. And here's Sheffield's place. So I've used, um, I've got quite a few of the Creation Club items. Uh, just because I bought them to review. Uh, the new Coca-Cola world, uh, the new Coca-Cola pack is quite cool. Look at how cool Sheffield looks. Yeah. I made it so it looks like he's making Nuka Cola, and I put the, the fog condenser behind it so it looks really grand. But he's got kind of like a slight Nuka Cola theme, but I didn't overdo it because if you've got that pack, you know that it's there's quite a lot of stuff you can use. So he's just got quite a nice little, a homely shack, I think. Significantly nicer than the place he would have had in Diamond City, mainly because I'm pretty sure he was homeless. And then all of this decoration, most of it, uh, with the exception of a few freehand stuff with OC Decorator, is done with Toys Out of the Prams decoration pack. So anyway, I hope you guys like that. I'm back to building again. Sorry if, um, well not sorry, I've made your mods and I've also been doing Fallout 76. Um, I'll have a new video soon and until then, you guys enjoy the rest of your week. You take care.